Om Shanti. Welcome to 6th of November's Godly Blessing. How do we overcome all the problems and issues in our life? How do we remain elevated and finish any obstacles and any form of distress which comes in our life? So let us go ahead and understand this beautiful blessing in God's own words. God says, may you be a master almighty authority who has power over the self. That means adverse situations come but we don't react or behave in a manner which is going to make it even worse. Who constantly maintains your elevated pride and finish all types of distress. What is this elevated pride? We're going to explore that in a bit. Constantly keep this blessing in your awareness. What is that? I am a master almighty authority. I am a master almighty authority. Who constantly maintains my elevated pride. And who also finishes any distress of others. Not just ourselves but even of others. Any situation comes, first thought should be. I'm a powerful being. I'm a master almighty authority. God is there with me. I've not done anything wrong karma. I hope so. That's what we have to check. If you've done any wrong karma, there's a method of humility. There's a method of patience and tolerance to overcome it. If you've done something right, then we don't need to be worried about it. Because truth will get proved on its own. We don't have to hide anything. We don't have to lie for that. or We don't even have to give an explanation for that. I am not weak. So see, these are all affirmations i am a master almighty authority i am not weak i am seated on the throne of elevated honor because my karmas are better getting better day by day also those who are seated on the immortal throne immortal throne this is an immortal throne of each energy or each soul my immortal throne is over here yours is over here so it's a throne where where the immortal soul resides in the body and then experiences the world through this physical body those who are seated on the immortal throne, on the father's heart throne, also second, on the father's heart throne, and maintain their elevated pride, cannot be distressed even in their dreams. So, how to be on the godfather's heart throne? Karmas, thoughts, words, actions. So, when we are having our thoughts, words and actions in the right direction, we don't need to be worried about anything because everything will be favorable. No matter how much distress anyone causes, people can give us distress, they can give us problems and issues. They maintain their elevated pride. The ones who are sitting on their immortal throne, that means their soul conscious, and those who are, secondly, sitting on Father's heart throne. Now, how do we sit on God Father's heart throne? It's not a joke, this word, or this complete sentence. That's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. How do we change ourselves so much so that, that God is ready to accept us on his heart throne. To learn more about this, to visit a Bhagavad Gita sent to me by you. Om Shanti with this.